The first design is the billboard trap that you can use for Maywings, Trikes, Parasaurs, pretty much all the starter creatures. The next trap design is the build around trap, which is extremely versatile and comes in all sorts of shapes and sizes, but requires your target creature to be immobilized. And finally, there's the pitfall trap design, which is my personal favorite. These three trap designs will get you 99% of the creatures in the game, and I have a secret tip that will get you the last 1% of creatures, so stick around till the end. If you want to grow your skills and all sorts of other arc related stuff, subscribe now so you don't miss anything. The first trap I mentioned is the billboard trap. This trap style is probably the first trap you'll have access to because the billboard unlocks at level 19. This trap design will allow you to trap any non-aggressive creature. It's really easy to use. Just put the billboards in your hotbar, approach the target creature, and start putting billboards around it so it can't go anywhere. You have to be careful with creatures like the Maywing because Maywings are going to try to jump away, so you have to make sure the billboard goes over their head. Once you've gotten them trapped, though, it's an extremely easy knockout tame from there. This will allow you to tame a super high-level Maywing right at the start of the game, which will put you in an extreme advantageous position for the rest of your playthrough. This trap is also very useful for other medium-sized creatures like trikes. Trikes are pretty scary starter tames because they do a lot of damage and don't give up the fight very easily, which is why you should trap them. Yes, trikes can destroy wooden structures, but there shouldn't be much of an issue with knocking the trike out before that happens, especially if you're using trank arrows or trank darts. This style of trap is used all the way into the late game, just not with billboards. The concept is the same though. Let me demonstrate with this super easy and effective giga trap. Basically, what you're doing is making an incomplete triangle with metal gateways and a large bear trap at the tip. You'll lead the Giga into the trap and seal off the back end with another gateway, which will effectively trap the Giga and allow you to tame it without fear of it escaping. I recommend doing this with a Maywing because Gigas are incredibly fast, and since you only have about 10 seconds to seal off the back end, the Maywing will get you around the Giga quickly and effectively to fully trap it before the bear trap timer runs out. The reason I'm explaining this is because while this trap doesn't use billboards, the concept is exactly the same. The first utility of this trap and the other two traps is perfect for meeting your needs no matter what size of creature you're taming. Of course, there are exceptions, but we'll get into those later. The next trap I want to talk about is the build around trap. It's not a very exciting name, but this trap is unbelievably effective for ravagers, wolves, theories. Actually, this trap alone will probably get you most of the tameable creatures in the game. The catch is that you have to be able to immobilize the creature first, though, so you'll need access to either bolas or net guns depending on the size of the creature. Actually, the more I think about it, the giga trap I mentioned earlier is kind of like a hybrid between the billboard trap and the build around trap. Let me explain. The concept here is that you'll first immobilize whatever creature you want to tame. In this case, we'll use a theory and immobilize it with a net projectile. Then we simply build a nice little prison around it using dino gateways sealed off on both ends with gate doors. You'll definitely want to make sure you leave gaps between each gateway so you can enter and exit the trap freely, as well as shoot your trank projectiles of choice comfortably. I learned about this style of trap from Kaya on fire, so make sure to check out her channel for some pro arc gameplay. Anyway, this concept can be made even bigger by using behemoth gates, or smaller by using a foundation and some door frames. The versatility of this trap is unmatched. The only problem is that it's pretty expensive if you can't pick the structures up after they've been placed, and you'll also have to carry a bunch of gateways and gate doors with you. This shouldn't be too much of an issue if you've got a tame that you like to travel with, though, because most creatures can hold that trap without any issues. The last style of trap I want to talk about is the pitfall trap. The pitfall trap is definitely my most used and favorite trap, but it can get a bit costly. I don't mind when traps cost a lot if they're extremely to use and they actually work though. This trap is perfect for creatures that can't be immobilized or for if you don't have access to proper immobilization yet. For example, if you're on the island and you want a bear, you won't have access to the net gun, so you'll have to use a trap like this. Either way, this trap is extremely customizable in terms of size. It ranges all the way from a 1x1 up to like a 3x6 and beyond for creatures like Spinos, Rexes, even Gigas. The way to make this trap have a super high success rate is to put some extra door frames on the back of the trap to guarantee that the creature you're trapping actually falls into the trap. Sometimes you need to go one higher, sometimes two, sometimes more. It just depends on the creature. I've been able to tame a vast majority of creatures with a one by one variant, although it is a tight squeeze and doesn't allow for much error. So a two by one is much more reliable and is the version I actually recommend going with. I use stone traps for basically all the creatures in the game, except for a theory. The theory can break through stone traps just like trikes can break through wood traps. You'll probably be able to knock the theory out before it breaks through your trap though, so do with that what you wish. You have a couple options when it comes to the actual utilization of this trap. The first option is to build the trap in the direction of the creature you want to tame. I have a megalo over there, so I'm going to build this trap facing it so I don't have to loop the creature around anything. It can just run straight in. I would stand near the trap in this situation and get the attention of the creature from as far away as possible. Then when it gets close, just turn around and run through the back of the trap. The second option is to build the trap in a central location, then have a creature chase you into the trap. 
This requires a lot of movement speed, but will prevent you from having to build a bunch of traps. I did this in my aberration no HUD challenge on Twitch. It was extremely effective for ravagers and bears. Before I give you the final tip that'll get you the last 1% of creatures, please make sure to check me out on Kick. I just started streaming over there and hopefully all goes well. I would love to have you. Anyway, the final tip is there's a guy, Captain Fat Dog. I'm sure you know Captain Fat Dog. He's basically a trap genius, but he has creature specific traps that will get you that last 1% of tames that these other traps that we have just talked about today won't get you.